If you're someone that's held off on getting a 360 cam, that all might change today. This is the DJI Osmo 360. Let's go over some of the basics. The biggest thing you need to know is that this camera is the first to use DJI's 8K 360 degree video. That's 8K at 30 frames per second with massive 2.4 micropixels, which means insane detail even in tricky lighting conditions. Or you can go for 4K at 100 FPS to get that buttery smooth four times slow motion. And as I mentioned earlier, this cam is great for shooting in low light thanks to its large 1.9 aperture and its new HDR square sensor with 13 and a half stops of dynamic range. It's 25% more efficient than a regular one inch sensor, giving you better footage with less battery drain. For storage, you've got 105 gigabytes of internal memory, meaning you can leave your SD cards at home. Color wise, you're also covered. All video modes shoot in 10 bit, which means over a billion colors. Switch to D Log M, and you've got tons of dynamic range to work with in post. For photos, you're looking at up to 120 megapixels for stills. That's 16K resolution right there. But it's not just a 360 cam. If you switch to single lens mode, you've got yourself a super sharp action cam. You're getting 5K 60 FPS with a wide 155 degree field of view. Or switch to boost mode for 170 degrees in 4K. And if you're into vlogging or filming on the go, you can even switch between the front and rear cameras in single lens mode while still recording. So that way you don't have to worry about any cuts or breaks. Now let's talk stabilization. The Horizon Steady feature is going to keep those 360 degree shots level, even when on uneven terrain. And we can't forget about audio. The Osmo 360 has four built-in stereo microphones with advanced noise reduction. Plus, it also works as a receiver, so you can pair up to two DJI mic transmitters. Can I borrow this? Thanks. And of course, Bluetooth connectivity. DJI has come out with so many products over the years, like this Osmo 360 that I'm recording on, and you can connect your microphones directly to it without needing a receiver. Finally, it's built for a variety of weather conditions. It runs for over 90 minutes and negative 20 degrees Celsius, and with an IP68 waterproofing, it can handle being submerged up to 20 feet underwater with no case needed. All right, real quick before I let you guys go, I just need to talk about how to actually edit your Osmo 360 footage. So there's three ways you can do this. The first way is by using DJI's own DJI Studio. The second is by downloading their Premiere Pro plugin, DJI Reframe, or you can use the handy dandy DJI Mimo app which has some great features like keyframing, subject tracking, and some cool filters. 